hi welcome to my channel my name is claire subscribe if you haven't if you're wondering why you should subscribe then watch to the end of this video because you're definitely gonna get value that would make your subscription worth it please put on the notification bell like this video leave your comments share this video so straight to the topic i'm talking about the lessons i have learned so far in my over close to seven years of, am i thinking of my number of years of marriage no, i'm not <laughs> i actually know the number of years but like because this is a new year i don't know if i should um refer to the previous year or this year but like definitely and i'm not an expert a disclaimer here i'm not an expert this is basically my own personal lesson and i want to share it with someone because it may be helpful to another person if it's not helpful to you if at the end of this video you feel it's not helpful to you then please and you know someone that's helpful to feel free to share it and trust me the video is free just share click on that arrow that shows share and tell the person to subscribe <laughs> So, with regards to the um, lessons I have learned in marriage, I one, men love respect. He's your friend, he's your age mate, he's your junior, he's your senior, he loves respect. The same way you're going to respect your pastor, the same way you're going to respect your boss at work, please respect your husband. Don't see him as, don't, don't, don't let C finish set him, because trust me, when C finish sets him, you will not what the bible say again women honor your husband yes second thing i have learned is that money cannot buy relationship <laughs> as you can see the rich people are getting the worst so it's not all about money if you are thinking right now ah it's the money it's the money there are several things a man can provide for you besides money so please if you want to know those things let me know in the comment section and i will share them but money is not money is a necessity is an ingredient money cannot buy happiness money cannot buy good health if you're if you're terminal terminally sick you will know that there's nothing your money is going to do for you if it's time to go it's time to go chicken because if not the billionaires that have passed away would have used their money to buy their health. So it's not about money in your marriage, in my marriage. So um, there's more. There's a, there, I need different things. I need money too, but like there are other things I need from my husband. And but three, apologize and forgive. Some people find it hard to apologize. Some people have the belief that uh, instead of apologizing, why not, you know, avoid that scenario? Sometimes we are humans and we're bound, bound to fail. So even if, in as much as you fail and you try to work on yourself, it's not, it's not, it's not a good thing to keep apologizing for the same thing. You should just sit down, reflect, and you know, find out ways you can change that particular thing. So that you don't have to always apologize with regards to that same thing don't be so rigid and hard and i don't know unforgiving trust me all the first lesson i have learned in marriage is that we are different so accept that he has his strong points and so i don't dwell on that i don't i'm not always like oh see this other man he does this for his wife he does that uh -uh. Accept the fact that we are different. It goes a long way. So you, when you understand that we are different, the way you speak to someone, the way you relate with that person will be totally different. So that's what I have learned in my years of marriage. My husband is different and I am different too. Moving on to number five. <laughs> marriage is all about compromise. I can't even tell you the number of times I come back from work super tired but I have to get into the kitchen to prepare meals to you know it's not easy but like you have to make compromises there are different there are other ways there are other aspects where you have to compromise but like sit down evaluate whatever you have to compromise there are certain things that there are some values that's why it's good to marry someone <laughs> Let me if I say this, there's something I just heard recently on my husband. My husband was listening to some something. I think it was a preaching, and the person was like, "Don't marry." 
Adam did not mar- did not go for an elephant. He did not go for a lion. That was when Adam was in the Garden of Eden. He didn't go for any of these animals. He went for his own kind. So in marriage, when you go for your own kind, you will not have to compromise certain values that you have because to an extent, the person you marry should share those values. What you hold, what you consider uh, valuable to you should be the same with whoever you end up with. So when you're making making compromises, you don't have to compromise those um, things you hold to a high esteem. So basically, I have learned to, you know compromises. I'm basically referring to the um, the daily things that you have to do, and sometimes you're not like in the mood or you don't want to do them, but you just have to do them because of in the spirit of compromise and sacrifice and the like. Sixth thing I have learned in marriage is that. <laughs> Hey. Don't, the sixth thing I have learned in marriage is that you should not start what you cannot finish. <laughs> and see, when you just go, when you just get married, you just be like, eh, when he comes up from work, you remove his jacket, his suit, whatever, you, you drop his bag, he sets his water, you, you, you know, pick up his shoe. I don't know, some women are able to do that. I don't have a household and I have three sons. Trust me, I can't do that. Even. <laughs> It's, it's bad on my own part. Sometimes I have to shout the greeting from the kitchen, like, sweetie, welcome back. So start what you can finish. Eh? Start what you cannot finish. So that at the end of the day, they'll not be like, you have changed. You don't do this. You don't start. You don't make midnight. It's really if you're in a long distance relationship. You don't make all the calls you have used to make. You don't do this. You don't set my water. You don't. Uh-uh. Start what you can finish. Don't start what you cannot finish. So that it doesn't look like you have changed. You know, you used to wash his clothes and suddenly because you have heaps and piles of children's clothes to wash, you now abandon his clothes. Uh-uh. Reach a compromise, do what you can do. Don't kill yourself at this end of the day because sometimes we mount a lot of pressure on ourselves. Don't kill yourself, fool, because if you kill yourself, no one is going to do it. And maybe he would have to marry another woman. <laughs> Sorry, that was harsh. But like, don't start what you cannot finish, my dear sister. I would have to do a part two. So watch out for that because on this channel, I post videos like twice a week. So subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.